Well, as fun as that was for math nerds like myself, um, we now get to we now get the opportunity not to graph one inequality but two. Think of all the joy. Well, graph one inequality on the line, and again, you're going to test a point on that side of the line. Now, you need to keep track of which side you should shade. Okay, so again, if it's true, you shade that side of the line. If it's false, you shade the other side of the line, but you need to keep track of that because we gotta shade the second line. We gotta shade for the second line. So you're gonna graph the second line after that, and then you gotta test a point for that line as well. Now, the final shading needs to occur where both shadings intersect. And that, that's where, I mean, you, you can show shading twice, which I will show you how to do and get credit on an exam. Um, on, on the, I'll show how it look, I, I will show how it will look on the assignment as well because it gets all colorful and pretty. But not quite so much on the exam unless you guys bring, uh, colored pencils? yeah, so some students choose to bring colored pencils crayons. or colored pens or crayons. Yeah, I've, I have seen crayons as well. Okay, so let's graph this. We got uh, y is less than 2x plus 2. So that, that one's, this one's nice. It's already in slope intercept form. I'm going to graph this one in red, and I will shade it in red as well. So the first one that I'm doing right here is based off of what you will see on the assignment, too. All right, so on this one, uh, we, we have the coefficient of x. That's my slope. And then we got the y-intercept as a positive 2. So I'm going to start at the point 0, 2 for my red line. This is going to be a dashed line because it's not equal to, but we know that the slope is uh, 2 over 1. It's 2, but I'm going to... I need it as a fraction so I can see my rise and run, right? So it's going to be up to to the right one. I guess we've already done one with up to the right one either way. So from there, I go up to the right one. I'm not going to show the steps on this one because uh, it needs to be a dashed or dotted line. And I can continue this pattern in both directions. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of make it dotted. Since I'm doing it by hand, it's not so perfect, but it, it'll work. Okay, so this is my line, and I'm now going to test the point, 0, 0. It's my test point. And then I will see in the inequality y is less than 2x plus 2 if it is a true statement. So I'll replace the x and the y with zeros because we chose the origin, which makes this convenient. And then you end up with 0 is less than 2, and that's a true statement. Now I need to keep track of the side that I, I shade on, but again on the on the com, on the computer for the assignment, since this zero zeros, I'm going to say it's on the right side of the line. We need to shade over here. You would just click on that side, and then it would just shade it for you. Okay. So this isn't quite what it would be like on the computer, but I'm trying my best. So there we go, and I stayed within the line. So kind of. Next. Question. So let's go to that next one. I'm going to do this one in purple. I see that from this negative 1, I have a y-intercept at 0, negative 1, which is right here on the graph. This will be a dashed or dotted line because it's not equal to the y. Uh, but I do have my slope there. And I'm going to show it as negative 4 over 1. So that's going to be down 4 and then to the right 1. I've done better handwriting, but that'll do. So down four to the right one, down four to the right one. It gives me these points, but I can reverse the staircase and go the other direction, up four to the left one, up four to the left one. And again, this will be dashed or dotted, however you want to do it. Mine's dotted, I guess. Something like this. Let me see if this helps. Let me see if this helps. So from my, from my y-intercept, I went down four to the right one, down four to the right one. That stair step, I just copied the other direction. So I went left one up four, left one up four. So it's the same stair step, but now it allows me to put these other points on there, and then I just connect them with the dashed line. So now I'm going to take the equation. Y is greater than negative 4x minus 1. And I'm going to use the, I'm going to use the same test point. Okay, So I'm going to test at 0, 0 right there. And I'm, that means I'm, I'll, I'll replace the x and the y with zeros. So x is 0 and y is 0. This tells me that 0 is greater than negative 1, which is it's true. So for the purple line, and again, you've got you to be able to separate this in your mind, the purple line 
I'd say it's, it's in, in the, it's in this section right here. So when you go to put this in, uh, you're looking for the, I guess, kind of the cross section there of the two. So I'm going to do it kind of like this. So what you'll see on the computer, right, is you'll see this, this part's red and this one's purple. Uh, usually what it'll do is it'll, it'll give you a new color for this, for this section automatically. So you don't actually have to, like, re-graph it or just kind of focus in on one of the sections right there. So the green is really the only area. Again, I'm just I'm trying to demonstrate what you'll see on the assignment. But if you're doing it by hand, I would recommend doing it in a different way, which I will show. That's an important part. The green will make both inequalities true, not just one, both. And that's the part that's the part we need to remember with systems, is that solutions need to make both both parts both equations or inequalities true. Just thought real quick, is if let's say you 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 chose a point. 0, 8 right here. 0, 8 would make the purple true, right? Which is this, this inequality true. But it's not shaded for the red, so it would make this one false. A solution to a system has to make both inequalities true. So if you chose like 10, 0 right here, it would make both of these inequalities true, both. Uh, and again, if you chose one in this section, it would make the red one true, but not the purple one, so that's no good. If you chose anything in this section, it would make both false, which doubly not good.